him. Deputies ask you to call the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office. The employment numbers continue to improve, however slowly, and that means more companies have hired new workers, and sometimes it means more new companies. ABC 7's Trevor Shirley is here with the story of one on the Sun Coast. Trevor? Well, John, one local couple says they are confident that the economy is improving, enough so that they're willing to take a gamble on a massive investment in downtown Bradenton, one that could soon be turning heads and taste buds in the heart of Manatee County. There's something bubbly brewing in Bradenton, or at least there will be soon. We set out, it took about six months to find the perfect location. Denise Cheetah says after looking all across the state, she and her husband Frank decided Manatee County would be the best spot for their startup company, Motor Works Brewing, bringing new life to an old Hudson Motors dealership on 9th Street West. The brewery could end up being one of the first tangible signs that the city's investment in the Riverwalk is in fact attracting new business to the area. It is something that they have just spent all kinds of money on their wonderful riverfront. Plans call for a tap room, outside beer garden, and about 23,000 square feet of brewing equipment, something she thinks will attract customers regardless of the times. As with always in the liquor business, uh, whether things are going well or not well, People like to go out and enjoy and get away from their troubles. But with job numbers steadily improving, the overall economic climate seems to be improving too, giving confidence to business owners looking to invest. It is a huge investment and we've seen, I think, a turnaround in the economy. Uh, things are changing. The city of Bradenton has already given the owners approval to rezone the land for light manufacturing. Manatee County has also agreed to provide $30,000 worth of incentives to the company. They plan to open portions of the facility later this spring. John? ABC 7's Trevor Schrader reporting for us tonight. When we hear that red tide has bloomed, we might feel a